uh, need to uh, uh, plan uh, uh, complete and right communication between neuronal cells that is obtained in synapses, a neurochemical basis of uh, all. Well, this electrical change uh, able us to analyze pathological and physiological states using uh, the electroencephalogram, but also more recently, after the 70s, to analyze by images using the uh, computed uh, techniques of tomography, position em uh, emission tomo uh, topograph tomography, and magnetic resonance images. Well, we can now look inside the brain uh, without an invasive uh, route. Then we can uh, look for growing, uh, generating verbs, speaking words, hearing words, seeing words. All these behaviors, all these uh, performance of the nervous system are product of schemas, 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 neuronal schemas that uh, is the same of circuitries. Then, this is a simple model to analyze some principles that uh, govern the neural uh, function. All the cells communicate and uh, are organized topographically using maps in, uh, and processing this information in parallel, in serial way, uh, reverberating may, uh, way, and also uh, producing converging and, uh, and uh, divergent uh, ways of communication. Uh, that is the way of, of uh, uh, for producing behaviors, for producing different functions in the central nervous system. We use different ways to produce or to communicate different, uh, circu pro to produce different circuitries. And these circuitries are responsible for the uh, behaviors a lot of. Well, we are a program uh, intrinsic program determined genetically uh, and produced by the evolution. The development is, pr is produced by evolution. But also, the circuits are modulated, are uh, improved by experience. Well, experience are uh, the common form of experience, are produced by uh, the learning, the process of learning. Learning is not a behavior, but a system of interrelated uh, events that needs to uh, follow some uh, rules. Well, uh, all learning is dependent of a background because this uh, new experience changes the, the, the mind, the brain. And then background is a, a very important uh, substrate. But the attention is uh, another uh, characteristic of the, our system that is uh, very important because the attention acts as filtering the, the stimuli and produce uh, changes in behaviors and circuitries. Well, uh, all, he, all people here uh, pay attention to my uh, uh, discourse, <laughs> I hope. Then uh, I need that uh, you look at a film. I think that all of you know this film. Uh, we need to uh, count a number of paths. 
This is a witness test. How many passes does the team in white have? You see? Who see? Now? Oh, uh, just now. Well, this is just a test for an awareness. We need to uh, focus, uh, focalize your attention to uh, the legend or to the uh, to counting the, the past, and then you don't see nothing more. Uh, this is a very common uh, but uh, there are another video that uh, I put here that I need you, uh, that you pay, pay attention. She is good, but uh, this is not the important here. Did you notice the 21 changes? How many changes? Just one? Four? More? Look. Oh. Again. <laughs> How many changes now? Two? One to two? Ten? Good. Now we can look to the make, uh, make off. change. 
Yes. It's difficult. And it's difficult for our children, for, uh, for children or for uh, us to observe it, uh, all the ambient. We are exposed for all, but we don't pay attention to all. That's very important. Motivation is very important for this phenomenon. Are you motivated? Yes, but the attention, uh, uh, the brain, uh, the attention is maintained only for 10, 20 minutes, the sustained attention. Then we look for news. This is very important for us. And also, we cannot, uh, uh, we cannot, uh, 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 our life is uh, full of tasks and demands. Can we perform more than one uh, task simultaneously? How is the price for this? Then uh, informations of the same sensory modality will not be processed at the same time. And also, in the case of different sensory modalities, the brain processes uh, each kind of information in different times. This uh, can generate stress. Uh, stress is very common. And is, uh, is stress, there are good stress or bad stress for us, for children, for all. When we talk about uh, what we cannot apply uh, in classroom, uh, it's better to say what we cannot apply for our lives. Then uh, stress can produce motivation, vigilance, attention in a light uh, model, but also produce synaptic plasticity. That's very important. That's the good uh, stress. But there are also uh, the bad stresses that produce morphological changes, not good, not like the synaptic plasticity, and also neurotoxicity. Well, uh, this stress can perturb our sleep, a sleep that is important in all our life, in different uh, times and uh, duration, and uh, is important for the process of uh, memory consolidation. Well, our uh, reality today is different. What is our reality? Who recognizes these uh, pictures? Who is now with the uh, smartphone here, with laptops? Uh, the internet uh, uh, produces a new generation. But this, this new generation is not different from the old. It's the same brain. Is the same synapses, is the same circuitries. What we do with uh, these uh, circuitries, that is important. And this picture, who, who can recognize it? It's very common. Almost a uh, multitask, almost, but not realizing all at the same time. But technology has rewired the world. Really. As well as the entire society and the school. Uh, there are a lot of uh, publications, very important, about uh, the knowledge about the brain. Internet uh, produced uh, the diffusion of uh, brain knowledge, the right and the wrong, the false and the right. Uh, well, 
this is a uh, editorial about the uh, survey on public uh, neuroscience uh, literacy in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, published in 2002 by Herculano Rosel. Well, uh, she showed uh, the reality in Brazil that's not uh, different from the United States, uh, United Kingdom, Europe, or here in Ecuador. Uh, some people uh, read scientific papers, but uh, magazines and popular magazines uh, can popularize it, uh, can dif uh, diffuse misconcepts and implement a successful program in, uh, in middle schools to produce the outreach and also the diffusion of neuroscience knowledge. But this is enough, or oh, this is one action, just one. Uh, in uh, 2012, uh, past year, uh, was published at PLOS One uh, the article, do, uh, okay. do octopuses have a brain? Knowledge, perceptions, and attitudes toward neuroscience at school. Well, this show uh, a lot of misunderstanding and misconcept produced by and uh, consumed by uh, children, adults, all people. Uh, there are uh, several of initiatives to promote uh, no, uh, the fusion and uh, the outreach of uh, knowledge about the brain. Uh, this is another uh, work published last year about neuromyths and uh, the misunderstanding concepts uh, in United Kingdom and Holland. And it's very common, the mistakes about uh, 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 concepts like the 10% uh, brain use, the consumption of uh, glucose elements or foods, and also water improve the develop the 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 cognitive uh, performance in children and uh, several others. In Brazil, there are several uh, initiatives too to uh, improve the knowledge in the school and for the society. Uh, I work at children and uh, teachers at school uh, in Rio de Janeiro. Last year, last, uh, in the last three years, we uh, could uh, participate uh, of in several schools, and uh, the participants, some uh, almost 15,000 people in three years. Well, uh, all these uh, actions are performed by volunteers. Well, then myth and true. Myth is just misconcepts, and true is relative. Well, we use only 10% of our brain. Is it right or wrong? Is false or is uh, uh, right? It's wrong. It's right. Well, it's a myth. It's, a more, it's, it's the most popular myth that we use only 10%. That's not true. Uh, the brain is, is, is used as all, as uh, entire, entirely. Neurogenesis occurs only during the development. Adults did not generate a new, neuron, new neurons. Is that the doctrine? It's right or wrong? All people here 
think that is wrong? All right. It's wrong. Yes, it's wrong. Because we have neurogenesis in adults. We cannot repopularize all the, the system. We cannot... Uh, uh, we saw uh, this morning, this uh, morning uh, the case of Nico. Uh, the brain don't construct another hemisphere. We cannot produce cells to regenerate all uh, system. Let's, uh, but we have neurogenesis in adult. Brain damage is uh, permanent. Is permanent or not? Myth or partially true? Because uh, 50 years ago, we can uh, uh, talk that the, this is uh, 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 true. Oh, the allergen is permanent. But now we know that uh, there are several mechanisms of uh, improvements, uh, reorganizing uh, system and circuitries, and also generating some uh, neurons. Drinking too much alcohol causes damage to the body uh, because it destroys neurons. This is true or this is a myth? This is a true. Because al alcohol, not uh, the, the simple use or the uh, unique use of uh, alcohol, but there are several syndromes and uh, pathologies caused by the uh, overuse of uh, alcohol. The human brain is the, back, the biggest at, uh, of all. It's not the biggest. But the relative size and uh, compared with uh, another uh, brain of other specimens, specimens uh, proved that the, the, our brain occupied 2% two, two of the, in this relation between size and uh, uh, of the brain, uh, human brain and the brain and the, the body. For example, uh, an elephant, this uh, relation is to point zero eight percent and the larger the brain the brain the greater intelligence it's true it's true no i have a, a niece that is very intelligent and the the the, the brain is not so big the myth uh, the, the, the size is not the, the, the point. A person with either, uh, is either left-brained or right-brained. This is right? No. It's a myth. We have some uh, characteristics or uh, functions allocated differently, as showed in uh, morning, uh, for example, language, the semantic, the phonological, and the syntactic aspect of language. But uh, this function needs all the brain, or partially the brain, and also music and maths. Yes, yes. Who uses well the left brain? Is good in math? No? Okay. Okay. That's myth, because to apply uh, math, we needed to both, right, bo both sides. Different aspects of math, but both. 
male and female brains are radically different. Myth or true? Are different, but not the brain, not the, the mass, not morphologically, but influence of hormones, growth, uh, society, culture, this makes this, this brain different. Use the brain is proportional to the intellectual level of the individual. To, of the individual. Yes. And also some people have more developed areas of the brain. Yes. Wrinkles on the surface of the brain appears and become more pronounced uh, as we learn. What do you think? Unification is uh, characterized by learning as a learning process? No. That's not true. And also, there are critical period for each learning. If one uh, does not learn during this period, it will not develop this knowledge more? Myth. Not learning. We have characteristics that behaviors that need to, to be uh, uh, to be stimulated, stimulated uh, at some age. The age of uh, zero to three are very important to learning. Yes, because it's the most uh, important period of plasticity, of developmental plasticity. Brain gene produces individuals more intelligence. Myth. But the physical and mental exercise will stimulate the brain, improving some characteristics. Yes, this is true. Not confound gym, the name gym, and just make excess, uh, mental exercise to improve intelligence. Intelligence is more than this. Living under stress is health. Myth. And also, brain needs to rest. So it is not recommended studying just before a test. I told for my, for my uh, students, but not function. Brain regulates the reason and the heart regulates emotion. Myth. And the last one that I bring. Using drugs affect brain function. Yes, this is true. And also, pain reside, resides in the brain and can be controlled. It's also true. In conclusion, we need to uh, ameliorate the, the knowledge of the population, of the, the, not only in classroom, because classroom is a reflect of the society. We need to... Uh, Amplify, amplify uh, this uh, discussion to the society, not just for uh, the classroom. There are several references, these articles that I cited, cited and uh, books about in this stem. And Lo que queremos hacer ahorita, I'm oh, sorry, in English. Um, what we hope to do for the next 15 minutes that we have remaining, um, Alfred has done a great job of reviewing some general myths that are very apparent that maybe you've been faced with. But what he would like to do now is take the time to explain more specifically depending on question areas. If there's individuals who have a well, I love Brain Gym, tell me more about this. Or if they want to um, clarify something, or if there are myths that you have heard of that you did not see presented here that you would like better clarification of, this is a great time to actually use. We have about 15 minutes to actually clarify this. Um, one of the major goals of this conference is that if nothing else, that people who are teachers walk out of here with a much clearer vision of what is good information and bad information and to get myths out of their general daily use. So hopefully we can clarify these things. So if there's something that he said that's controversial, let's talk about it now. Or if there's other additional questions you might have, well, I've heard this, but I'm not sure. If we could talk about that now, right now, this is the great moment. Did you have another question? 
not right now. No. Anything related to MIS? Okay. Anything related to what might be considered a myth about the brain or things that you, maybe you're just not comfortable or sure about that you would like clarification about? I would like to know, really, when we talk about intellectual um, IQ in, in, uh, in children, I mean, is it, is it a myth that IQ, uh, the IQ can change through experience? Is that a myth or is that something true? Could you please repeat? I mean, uh, when we talk about, you know, uh, a coefficient intellectual no, on, the, on our students, is it a myth or not that that can change through the years? I mean, due to experience, due to different expositions, to different environments, is it truth or a myth? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, the, uh, the intelligent quotient is is just a uh, uh, this confound uh, is just a parameter to analyze uh, some uh, aspect of intelligence, but uh, it's not true that uh, the this uh, this uh, measurement is uh, efficient. We need to uh, ameliorate the. Uh, the mode of uh, uh, construction of this evaluation. Uh, are children, are children with uh, uh, children with uh, low uh, coefficient of intelligence, is not uh, this, this is not an impeditive to explore the potential of this mind. Uh, there are limits, okay? We uh, could not, uh, we cannot uh, say that uh, they are equal to all others. But uh, we can explore how potential the, uh, the, this, uh, these children have then we, we can uh, explore uh, the mathematical intelligence, the mathematical logical or uh, interpersonal or several others, others. not the, the limited in science, uh, uh, language, and uh, maths. Okay? Uh, it's not a limit. Hello. How uh, do you tell us that attention is very important for learning? But I have some students in the classroom that are really flying, but they actually learn without paying attention. So how, how important is attention in learning process? The, the attention uh, function as a filter, also, uh, uh, producing a filter of what the material that the children is, is exposed and what uh, will be uh, uh, worked at the mine. Uh, when I, I talk to you, uh, your attention is focused in my uh, team, in my sound, and analyzing what I, uh, I, I, I said. Well, uh, attention. Is function uh, here uh, filtering another's stimuli? Uh, that's the problem with children that uh, have uh, deficits in attention, uh, and also another's problem that uh, affect the the uh, the capacity of uh, focus in in something. 
Is there any evidence either way that neuromyths in the classroom affect student learning? It's a difficult uh, uh, question because uh, we need to know uh, what is myth to, to analyze this. And the knowledge is uh, what is the background of this, uh, this teacher to analyze that uh, what uh, they teach or uh, what is uh, analyzing is right or, or, or wrong. Then uh, we need to uh, produce a, a real outreach of knowledge or brain knowledge to uh, combat this uh, kind of uh, myths. Thank you. Very interesting presentation. I'm a neuroscience researcher, and I want to offer an alternative perspective on neuromyths. Um, I'm a little uncomfortable with the way that they're talked about because they're often presented as there's a right and a wrong answer. Um, and recently, a paper came out that showed that the um, frontal lobes in humans are not expanded relative to other species. And this is a very common, I, up until last week, I would have said a common understanding about the field that uh, human brains have particularly expanded areas. And I saw it in a thesis defense the day after the paper came out. So I feel that we can't always just say, oh, this is, there's a right and a wrong answer. And clearly the questions that have been asked today indicate I would find those answers hard to answer as well. So I think that we maybe want to move away from a, there's a right and a wrong answer and ask the experts to get it, and towards an idea that, you know, how would one go about answering that question? What are the scientific studies which would address it? And, and giving people tools to, find the answers in a published research or um, generating and participating in research that would help answer it. That's my two cents. Yes, it's right. Uh, we need, uh, first of all, I, I, I don't uh, like the term myth because this is also a, a misconcept for, for me, mm -hmm. uh, but it's usual, okay? Neuromyths, and uh, is better misconcepts because these concepts uh, now is right. Mm -hmm. Next to 20 years, mm -hmm. the same. We can uh, uh, say that that uh, is the same. Uh, the internet come uh, uh, produce a, a new view of the knowledge. All people have access to this knowledge. But how uh, children and us use this uh, media? How we use the internet? Uh, we can ask, and if we need to convert the, the, the data, the, the these concepts produced and published in uh, uh, journals, conceptual journals, uh, and translate for people. We uh, just uh, acting like this, we can uh, uh, destroy or, or, or uh, building uh, new uh, uh, concepts or new views of these concepts. Because the concepts the, uh, is not entirely uh, wrong, like the gym. Uh, uh, but how the people use this concept is uh, uh, wrong. But I think that you are all right. Is necessary to do a study profundo, digamos, maestros para, sobre neurociencia para aplicarla en la educación. Pregunto, ¿qué considera usted que 
los jóvenes especialmente, cuando se trabaja con chicos de 16, 17 años, es necesario darles a conocer cómo funciona el cerebro, porque muchos de ellos dicen, no puedo, no sé, no soy capaz. Yes, but this is the way. Uh, in Brazil, we have uh, some actions uh, for this. Uh, in South, uh, Professor Menezes, and also in North and São Paulo, in Rio de Janeiro, we developed courses to teachers, not just for uh, undergraduate that uh, uh, will be teachers, but teachers in classroom. Uh, they need to know uh, uh, about brain, about functions, not just about uh, 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 the brain. Uh, I think that uh, it's, it's not just a problem like the, the another uh, paper that I said here. It's not just to uh, uh, read journals, le read uh, 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 papers or magazines. Uh, we need to, to perform classes. We need to uh, uh, the personal communication. We need to interact to show the basis of the learning. We need uh, uh, to use what we know to teach about the brain. As that is important not just the, the, the publications, because uh, we need to, to produce, to, to form professionals that can do that. Existe la creencia que la inteligencia es heredada. De ser así, ¿en qué porcentaje se podría decir que es herencia o cuestiones de, de cultura, ambiente, etcétera? Gracias. Yes, part of the intelligence is dependent of the input, because uh, we cannot confound uh, intelligence with abilities. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of abilities that can be converted in uh, learning, and we can use this, uh, this content learning to uh, produce several kinds of intelligence. Intelligence. Uh, that's that I, uh, I think. Buenas tardes, profesor. Yo tengo una curiosidad respecto al mito de que el cerebro piensa y el corazón siente. De hecho, una persona emocionalmente afectada podría no tomar una buena decisión y entonces cuando queremos dar clases se nos dice que debemos motivar y para motivar pues hay que entrar por el corazón hacia la mente. ¿Cómo ¿Cómo podemos uh, realmente trabajar estas dos partes, el cerebro y el corazón, al mismo tiempo? ¿O es que no es verdad que el, cor que el cerebro no siente? ¿Qué mismo pasa allí? The brain and the heart is inside of the brain. This is the same. Uh, we Another myth, the emotional brain and the rational brain, the, the rational brain. is the same brain. We can uh, uh, produce, I am nervous, no? uh, we can produce uh, a lot of knowledge and use them, but uh, it's difficult to uh, separate the emotional from the rational. Uh, but it's the same brain. It's like the picture that I put, have put here. It's just one organ. 
Uh, we know we uh, named the herd, but it's just an uh, autonomic uh, uh, function to accelerate or, uh, in, uh, or reduce the rate, ratio, uh, and tachycardia. It's just uh, uh, a way to, to show a uh, mental state, state, emotional state, but uh, it's governed by the brain. We have, uh, of course, areas uh, uh, that, with the evolution, uh, are responsible for the, the uh, emotional states. And this is uh, very, very primitive. Uh, children, uh, newborn, uh, already have. Okay. 